Hey guys, and welcome back to The Click. Today I am going to go over some favorites for the month of June. I realized the month of June was almost over and I hadn't done a favorites video for this month, so I figured I might as well do one at the very end so you guys know what I liked during the month of June and um, it probably will be the same thing for the month of July unless I find anything else that I really really enjoy. But um, this is just makeup wise because I'm still using the same stuff to like for like skincare and stuff. So um, yeah, if I might have gotten some of this stuff in um, uh, May, but I'm just not 100% sure. Um, but I'm gonna go over some stuff makeup related that I really liked for this month, and hopefully you guys enjoy it and make sure to subscribe. So yeah, um, let's just get on with it. <laughs> okay, so for the month of, um, June, sorry it's thundering outside, so if you hear something, that's exactly what it is. Um, for the month of June, I, the first thing that I have been loving this month is the Subculture palette. Everyone hates it so much, and they think it has so much fallout, but I've used this, like, five, more than five times, like, six times. I especially love this blue shade. Sorry, the camera quality is not the best, because like this blue shade, I haven't played with this shade, but I really want to. The blue shade, the brown shade, the shade, the shade, the shade, the shade, the shade, and the shade. Sorry. I like Subculture Palette a lot, and I really think it's worth the money. I feel like Anastasia reformulated these because my friend has one, and she says hers is absolute crap. And as you can see, it's not, like, messed up. So, like, I don't understand why people don't like this but I think they reformulated them and that's why but yeah so that's my first favorite for this month and then my second favorite I actually recently just got this like a week ago is um the Morphe um AH sculpt and shimmer highlighting palette it looks like this I really like it for these two highlighter I can't focus okay for these two highlighters right here, this one in the shade Venus and this one shade in the shade Big Bang. This one reminds me of Trophy Wife and this one blends so good in my skin tone. Well, they both do because it's hard to find uh, highlighters for my skin tone that don't leave like a white stripe when I put it on. And then this bronzer is really nice for my skin tone because it's hard to find bronzers that fit my skin tone. So I really, really like this and I mix all these shades together to contour. And that's really good for inner corner highlight. And I haven't tried this one yet because I'm pretty sure it's too dark. But this was such a good buy. And I really like it. So. The thing that I've been loving for this month is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is such a good job of like blurring your pores. Because I have a lot of pores like in my like cheeks like close to my nose and around my nose and on my forehead. Um, so it's really good for smoothing out your pores. It is quite pricey. This is the mini, the mini one. The mini one is $10, which isn't too bad. Um, because it is 0.50 fluid ounces. So it's got quite a lot of product in there. So I recommend this. But the full size one is $36. And I just wasn't willing to pay that much for it. So that's the tea. Um, next I'm going to, I'm sorry. This is like not in any particular order, like whatsoever. Um, I'm just going to pull up stuff that I've been using a lot this month, and yeah. So, um, I, that's, is this the wrong lipstick? Yeah, that's the wrong lipstick. I'm done. Okay, so, um, the two lipsticks that I've been loving for this month, they're both nude, um, because I went over the Kylie Cosmetics one, and I still use that one, like, heavily, but this one is the Kat Von D, I took the cap off, but it looks like this. This one's the Kat Von D, um, it looks really pink on camera, but it's not that pink, uh, lipstick in the shade Cathedral. This is such a pretty nude. Like, when I tell you, it's so pretty, and especially for my skin tone. Oof. Okay, that one's great. And then, um, also, I went back to this, because I used to wear this all the time, but, like, I hadn't worn it in a good six months, because I got other lipsticks that I really liked. So, I haven't worn this one in a very long time so this is the milani liquid lipstick in the shade loved um 
You can get this at like CBS, and I'm pretty sure it's only like $8, which is not a bad price for a lipstick. I have to say these Milani liquid lipsticks are a bit dry, but with any liquid lipstick, I put on chapstick before, so it's not dry for me because I have chapstick underneath it, but some people just like don't do it right. Also, this is like non-related, but I got these sunglasses the other day, and I think they're so cute, so that's not makeup related at all, but they're so cute. I feel like an Instagram baddie when I wear them, so huh. I don't know if I got this in the month of uh, June or not, but this is an e.l.f. Cosmetics glitter, and I didn't know they had glitter, so I got really excited. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see my actual eyeshadow. So, like, I used it on my lid today, and it's so pretty. My lighting is so trash because it's raining. I've said that a million times, but I really love this, like, so much, so much. That was loud. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else because everything that I basically wanted to talk about was in that Morphe Sculpt and Shimmer Highlighting Palette. Oh, ignore how dirty this is, but the Morphe Blending Sponge, I didn't like it at first. Because it wasn't as like soft and bouncy as my Real Techniques ones that I used to have. But I actually ended up really liking it. So um, I'd actually recommend. Um, I don't even know if there's anything else that I want to talk about for today. This video might be really short and if so I'm sorry. But yeah. Oh and another thing that I really like. Sorry I'm all over the place. Is um, the NYX if I can find her um wait this is it no I'm sorry I can't find anything it's literally in here oh it's right here the NYX Vivid Brights liners are so nice uh I have a pink one and I have a yellow one and I really like both of them especially the yellow one but this right here this NYX Epic Ink Liner. I used to use this Wet n Wild Liquid one and I hated it. But this is so good for eyeliner. Like if you're not a good per not good at eyeliner, then this is for you. Sorry my room's a mess. So if you see like Loki forgot that I love this thing so much. But let me find her. It's the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. It's really nice, actually, like for a brow pencil I'll find it well no I won't but it's a really nice brow pencil and I'd rec really recommend it I'll put it on the screen along with the price and I used to use the Anastasia dip brow pomade but it was way too in like dark for me for my hair like it was almost black like my brows are brown don't get me wrong they're brown they may look black on camera but they're brown sweetie so um yeah I really like the wet n wild retractable brow pencil and I would recommend for anyone that has black to brown, brown to black hair. Thanks.